Welcome to Adapen class and thank you for deciding to watch this video as usual. Let's do some endless fun practice questions. I like pharmacology. I want you to be good at pharmacology because most of the time it's risk factors, education, teaching, intervention. Pharmacology crosses every specialty. If you master your pharmacology, all these select and apply questions related to a medication, it's easy. It crosses all specialty. So question one, what do we have? Question one, farm practice questions. And this is taking care of five patients. So you have five patients. Which client should be instructed to take the assigned medication with full glass of water and remain upright for 30 minutes? There's a reason why I asked to do that. So I need a full glass of water, right? And I have to be 30 minutes upright. There's certain medication they ask you in select or apply to be able to distinguish. Teach the patient to do that. Otherwise, they get complications from that. It's a select or apply. If you don't know, just leave it. This is, this is a plus minus. There may be five answer choice, there may be three, or there may be one. Pick those that you think you're very, very confident of getting answer right. Then you get a point. If you know five, pick all the five. So what do we have? A client on oral potassium for hypokalemia. Do you want them to take it with a full glass of water and remain upright? Absolutely. Potassium is one of the medication that, so that medication that you have to do that, they cause is what we call osophagitis. This is how you analyze the question. Which medication causes osophagitis? And if it does, then I have to do that. Read from the back, so let us apply. Which medication should the nurse instruct a client to take it with a full glass of water and remain upright? Five patients. So potassium, you have to do that. Tetracycline for skin infection. Yes, one of the cyclines. You have to, this particular one, you have to take it with a full glass of water and remain upright because it's osophagitis. Alendronate. This is a bisphosphonate. The last name is dronate. This is what you take for osteoporosis, osteopenia. One of the questions they always ask instructions you need to give to patient remain upright take it with upright for 30 minutes and a full glass of water to prevent osophagitis absolutely doxycycline for uti same thing in the cycling family remain upright full glass of water and remain upright for 30 minutes monocycline Another medication in the cycling group, upright for 30 minutes with full glass of water. So all these medications, be familiar with them with this actual teaching, 30 minutes, upright, full glass of water to prevent osophagitis. Okay, that is the key for the question. I need to prevent osophagitis, so I need to remain upright with full glass of water. Next question. Same thing. The way I read the question, start from the back. Select all that apply, okay, I know it. Then go, which teaching is uh, effective to prevent toxic drug level? That is the question you being asked. And then what is the case? A nurse is taking care of a client who was prescribed teofilin for uncontrolled asthma. They have to tell you what the medication for. If they're not going to tell you, then they want you to tell them what this medication is used for. That is everything about pharmacology in the English. Therapeutic drug level was 17. And the normal is 10 to 20. Which teaching is effective? So you have to analyze it. What is uh, the, the question? Select or apply it. And what is being asked? teaching for effective prevent toxic level. And what is the case? Patients put on what? Teophylline. I'm being put on teophylline, okay? And my level is 17. What teaching will you provide to me so that I can prevent 
the patient will prevent toxic level. It's almost close to 20. So what teaching will you provide? Guess what? Theophylline is used for asthma. It's a bronchodilator. The trick is 3C plus liver. Or you can say 4C. And the C's are what? Cementidine, ciprofloxacin, that's cipro, three, no caffeine, coffee, and for anybody who have cirrhosis, that's the liver. So liver disease, they should avoid it. Or you should avoid anything that will be toxic to the liver. Therefore, cut down your coffee, coffee for one cup a day, wrong. Avoid it. Cut down is not enough. So if 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 they say they say cutting down enough, so this is wrong. We want it to avoid completely. Avoid cementing for good. Yes. So this one, number two is right. Avoid alcohol. Yeah, alcohol affect the liver. So it's hepatotoxic. Therefore, this is good. Avoid ciprofloxacin, it's one of the C. Avoid hepatotoxic drug. Any medication that affect the liver, yes. So there's four answer choice, right? You can pick three, two, but don't pick everything if you know you don't know it. So this is the key for teophilin. This is content you know you need to know. Okay. Next question. Same thing, select or apply. The nurse should anticipate which medication to be appropriate for this patient. Therefore, which medication should be appropriate for this patient? And then she's taking care of a client with what? Type two diabetes, who is struggling, struggling with weight gain and hypoglycemia on current regimen. The nurse should anticipate which medication to be appropriate for the patient. What is being asked? Appropriate medication, right? What is the case? I have type two diabetes and I have what? I'm struggling with what? Weight gain and hypoglycemia. So which medication will you give me? The key to see these two buzzwords weight gain, hypoglycemia. These two buzzwords is the key. The key is what? Any medication that stimulates the pancreas. If you stimulate the pancreas, you're going to cause hypoglycemia and you're going to cause weight gain because you're going to make what? Insulin. So all diabetic medication that stimulates the pancreas will lead to um, insulin production that will lead to weight gain and hypoglycemia. Metformin does not do that. It increases sensitivity, okay? Therefore, it does not increase, um, what do you call it? Increase weight gain and then does not cause hypoglycemia. Therefore, we have to pick this answer choice because it does not cause weight gain and hypoglycemia. Represide. This is sulfur urea. They will work by stimulating the pancreas. Therefore, they're going to release what insulin. If you release insulin, you're going to cause weight gain and hypoglycemia. This is not good for the patient. Repaglinide. It does the same thing. Stimulate insulin from the pancreas. Therefore, weight gain and hypoglycemia. You can take it. Migritol. Migritol, this is good. This is what we call alpha glucosylate or alpha, alpha glucoside. This prevents, it delay absorption of glucose. So when you eat glucose or anything that has glucose in it, you delay absorption of it in the, in the GI tract such that we don't get too much insulin and uh, glucose and decrease insulin uh, production. So this is very, very good. It will not cause weight gain and it will not cause hypoglycemia. So metformin and imrigator will be the best medication for that. Okay. 
number four. Which drug is paired with the correct indication and side effects? So let it apply. The same thing. We have a drug, where the indication is being used, and the side effects. So let not apply. We choose those you can find. Jensen. Most people take it for performance, and the risk factor is bleeding. So this is good. Black Kosh. Other people take it for monopause, and it's very hepatotoxic. So this is bad. Liquor rice, yeah. Some people take it for ulcer, and it causes hypokalemia. So you should avoid it. You should also avoid it in patients who's taking the joxin. Ephedra, we use it for weight loss. If you have cold, you go to the you know, Walmart, you see a bunch of cold medication, they have ephedra in it. Hypertensive crisis, yes, it can cause MI too. You should also avoid it in the joxin patient. Excellent. Kava, yes, people take it for anxiety, and they're also hepatotoxic, so avoid it. So all of them are pay, so all of them are right. This is just designed to teach you stuff, not answer questions so that you know the content, you know all these medication. This is what they do, okay? So that's the idea of that particular question. In case you forget what they do, yeah, that's what they do. And finally, finally, Select or apply, okay? And then she's taking care of a client prescribed Ventanofil, Ventanofil patch. Which of the following indicate correct understanding of the medication? Select or apply. Which of the does indicate correct understanding of the medication when you prescribe Ventanofil? What is being asked? Which indicate correct understanding. What is the case I'm on Vendanofil? You see how I'm breaking down too much so that I can have ownership. Vendanofil. Vendanofil. So which one? Did you recognize this medication? That's your buzzword. Rewrite it and then your buzzword and the content. This is what? Feels. I call them the feels. This is like selling the feel. They are in the family of Viagra, the same thing, they do the same thing. They are what? Venodilators, it causes a lot of problem. So what is the teaching? The key word also here is patch, 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 patch. This is just for how do you use patch. That's what all the answers is related to the patch. Okay, so use one patch Daily, excellent. Don't put two patch on. Keep patch on for 12 for 14 hours. Yes, that's what you do for this. Most of the time, these patients are prescribed for um, um they, they use this medication to help with that. So you if the, the idea for a patch is to release slow, slow, slow medication. Okay, slow medication as much as possible to help um, with the whatever you needed to do. If you expose the skin, you go through the skin, or you get all the dose of the medication. So that's the reason why you keep it back slowly. So you put it on for uh, 12 to 14 hours, then you take it out so that you don't, de you don't develop um, basically toxicity or ineffectiveness of the medication. It can become rebound. It doesn't work if you stay on for that long. Okay, it's the same thing. The idea with the nitro patch is the same thing. Shave all the air before applying the patch. You know, when you shave, you break the skin and then you release all these medication through that. So we should not do that. So this is wrong. Shower once per week. No, shower every day. There's nothing wrong with having a patch on. This answer choice can be applied for any patch. You can shower any, every day if you you have a patch on. Patch is shower, shower approved, so this is wrong. Apply patch to the same area. No, you should rotate to different area of your body so that you don't cause damage. So there's only two answers there, this and that. Shaving is wrong. 
showering once a day, once a week is wrong. You get a shower every day and apply patch to a different area. So one and two are the right answer. So this is the end of it. Quick five questions on pharmacology loaded with content, very short and straightforward. And that is what I do. Take care of yourself. Have a good day. Adapt anklers. Is your friend for the anklers. Bye-bye. Subscribe if you have not done so. And all the best of luck. Keep charging, as always.